Hi guys, the Golden Investor again. So in this video, we're gonna show you around one of the refurbs that we've just completed. This is one of our own properties. So you'll see from the day we got the keys right down to the finished product. So stick with us and we'll show you around. So here we are at the next one, got the keys, 208 Ford Green Road. And three beds, Sammy. She needs a lot of work, let's have a look around it. So yeah, you can see the garden has been touched for a long time. No one's lived in this property for a while. The agent said it was about 18 months, I think. So, yeah, there's a lot of work to be done. There was a massive flood inside, so it was bought as unoccupied. If you look at the garden, it's a right mess. There's astroturf just laid over paving and all kinds of disasters. So, immediately, I come into the hallway and you can see about a massive leak. So, it's been leaking. It's leaked over onto that consumer unit which has shorted everything out so it's all been switched off i think at the road as well so that kind of makes it uninhabitable so no kitchen yeah so as you come into this room i can see all papers falling off got a damp in the corners and then someone i've just been informed by the next day but it was his son-in-law that has knocked through Hopefully that's been done right with a proper steel beam that's been calculated and on pad stone. So that's been knocked through. Again, wallpaper falling off. It do not fall off on its own, so it's generally damp. On these corners, it's quite dry under there, just got certain aspects. So. Yeah, no kitchen to show you, unfortunately. We've had, like I say, a massive leak up there, which has leaked onto the consumer unit. So, I think that's been cut off at the road. It, oh, it absolutely stinks in here. So, yeah, it absolutely onks in here. But you know what they say for us investors? If it stinks of pee, think of me. If you come with your messes, it stinks of piss, give it a mess. There you can see, 1960s bathroom with designer mould. So obviously we've got some, uh, some leaking somewhere going on in the roof. We've got the bolted ceiling there and we can see the actual hip. So that'll be direct, so we we'll have to have the plaster off and sort that out, get the tiling sorted on the roof. Got another one there. So some quite bad mould issues due, due to the roof, roof leaking. So, but yeah, good size room anyway. Those are in original banisters, can be painted up, I would imagine. But yeah, decent size room. This one's a decent size room. Some absolutely gaudy, horrible colours, but central eating, all piped in with designer plastic pipes. Absolutely atrocious, all got to be ripped out. And then we've got this third bedroom, which is absolutely tiny. Our idea is we may extend down there to make the kitchen bigger and make this bedroom a bit bigger but we'll see so yeah all in all ideal investment property is going to take a lot of work it's come at the right money but it's come at 115 115k we anticipate we're going to be spending 20 25k on this to get it up to scratch uh, and then hopefully we should have a value of about 170 hopefully 
Uh, anything above that would be over the moon. Anything below 165, 170 will be a bit disappointed, but hopefully we'll we'll you know we'll get the valuation through doing a proper nice refurb. So yeah, back downstairs. You can see it's been empty for a long time. And you can see the water marks all up here where it's been leaking and getting out the front door. It's obviously been been running down there. Like it's been leaking through the ceiling. Again, plastic pipes for the radiators. Same in here. Plastic pipes. Lovely, eh? I haven't even got a radiator in there. And then we've got lovely, properly dangerous polystyrene tiles on the ceiling there. And when then you come to what is the kitchen, but there's nothing here. It's all been ripped out. We have got a boiler up the corner, but danger. Warning, unsafe appliance, do not use. Danger, do not use. So I take it we're going to have to have that checked out. Looking at it, it looks really old, so I would imagine it's going to be ripped out and a new one going on. So one place to always check when you go and look at properties is the window reveals. Now this one's not too bad. You know, there is bits of mould in there, but it's not really, really bad. So there's bits there, but it has been empty for a year. So we need to check all them. Um, Sorry, every time I walk somewhere new, I get a face full of cobwebs. So like I say, these banisters, quite nice, quite in keeping with the property, so they'll be kept and painted up. Let's check these window reveals. There you go, classic. Windows broke down. Caked in mould. Paint's peeling off. So we're gonna need new windows pretty much throughout. This one's still got an old timber window in. Actually, that's actually, it's actually coping better than the new PVC one. Again, mold. Not as bad as the one on the back. And again, mould all over the ceiling. Now that could be the roof, or it could be the fact that this is a bathroom and there's no extractor to speak of here. The wind is obviously... Oh, it works. What's it might have been forced shut, but yeah, it works, but it's knackered. So, but yeah, we'll have to address that, get some mould remover, just check the roof on top that it's not that that's causing the mould. Obviously we've got an old airing cupboard there, which actually has got nothing in anything, that's taking up a hell of a lot of room in the bathroom. So we're going to reconfigure this bathroom, get rid of that, try and get a shower or something in there. Now one thing that I have, I've, uh, that I have noticed, obviously we've got plastic pipes plumbing the uh, the the central heating in but although that's bad it still works but it's it's, it's not good it should be copper really but what we have noticed is it's been done recently like over the last couple of years but all the radiators they were all pretty new so obviously they're a bit mucky but it's not going to work to actually to reuse the radiators so it'll save us a few quid so that one, it's all right, it's mucky, but it'll clean off. So that one, it's not on level, <laughs> but yeah, it's it's fine. But again, plastic parts, just decided to just box them in there. <laughs> so, so here we are, we're in here, flipping it out. That thing's going, I can't stand far enough back. Wardrobe is coming out. Here's mate. 
all the boxings coming, wallpaper coming off, and obviously all the flooring's coming up. You know, anything that's basically falling apart or, you know, it's all been ripped out to be honest, it needs gutting. So obviously, yeah, I'll turn the camera around now. So we've got these two leather rooms, all that's come up off the floor, it's all going on the truck now. So we've got bits of wallpaper off that are loose, we'll have to get the steam and get the rest of it off. As you know, there's, there's no kitchen in anyway. And the, cause the, we had a bad leak. So, boiler's got to be sorted, looks a bit old. Dangerous, do not use. So obviously it's been empty for like 18 months and they've had a really bad leak there. Whilst uh, it was empty. It's leaked straight down onto the consumer unit from what I can see. So it's got a warning on there. Gas and electric cut off at the room, so they've cut it off. So we've actually got no gas and electric at the minute. Uh, the gas has got a flexible hose there where it should be copy. So that's gonna have to be changed. It's basically dangerous and a mess. So we're getting it all ripped out now. Make a start on it. So there you can see polystyrene tiles. You look at them. It literally is polystyrene. It's like. So mega popular in <laughs> the 70s and 80s. Just stick polystyrene to your ceiling and if you ever have a fire, you're gonna die of smoke inhalation straight away. So it's got to come away. So there you have it folks, the complete property, right from the start, from getting the keys, right till the end, to actually renting out. And just to mention that this went on the market for rent and was rented out within a day. So it just shows you what the rental market's like at the minute. Anyway folks, if you got any value from that at all, if you've got any questions, like and subscribe down below. And the questions, just pop a comment in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Catch you in a bit, folks.